Alright, so moving along, we're going to do the controllers for the neck. So again, we're going to select a circle. And you know by now, we're going to have to scale it down because it's too big. And we're going to snap it to where the neck is. Now, get this up to you how you want to shape it. Um, I just want to shape it. Usually, I follow the shape of the model. So, it comes of slanted like that. So, I'm going to leave it slanted like that. And again, free transform center pivot delete the history. Now we can go ahead and orient this guy. So we're gonna select the controller, then select join. Then we're gonna go constraint orient. All right, so this controls the neck. All right. Um we'll do one more for the head over here. to make sure that was the freeze transformation was applied so again this is the head depending on how you want it to be snap it over here right maybe I'll move this a bit forward and then perhaps I just wanna rotate it as such again freeze transformation center pivot okay maybe before that let me just scale this in a bit all right. Then we're gonna select the join, and we're gonna do an orient. So same thing again. You can rotate the head, stuff like that. So as for the mouth area, what we can do is we can go ahead and create our EP curve tool, right? You wanna double click on this and make sure that it's one linear and bring our grid back around. So I'm just going to press and hold X to snap to the grid and we're going to start to create like an arrow shape over here right so it's going to follow somewhat of like an arrow shape and then snap it back to the middle over here so we're going to center the pivot and then perhaps you can kind of like scale it such okay so if we go to the control vertex over here so you can see these were the points that we snapped earlier on if you want to you can just make very subtle adjustments like maybe like that something like that all right so what i'm going to do is let's go back to object mode i'm going to rotate this guy appropriately to 90 then i'm going to snap this to one of my joints so I'm going to snap this to here, right, center the pivot, freeze transform, scale it as such, and I'm going to, again, depends on what makes sense to you, so for me, this kind of thing makes sense, so I'm going to put one arrow right over there, so this, when I rotate it upwards like that, is going to open the top part of the mouth, and then I'm going to duplicate this under the scale sec I'm gonna change this to negative then I'm gonna put this guy below so this will control the bottom jaw area all right so to me that makes sense all right so you can do something that makes sense to you and again you need to make sure that we freeze the transformation such for both of this okay so there's one more thing over here, we just need to make sure that we need to draw an extra joint out there, so no worries. All you have to do is perhaps to do this from, let's see, from the side. So we're going to use our join tool, select this guy over here, right click on it while using a join tool, and then draw another one out there, then press G. Do the same for this guy, we draw another one above here. Right, so that is going to help with the rotation. So when we select this guy, for example, he's gonna rotate and his mouth is gonna kind of open and his jaw is gonna kind of drop like that. Right? So we need to go back to our outliner and select this guy, press F. As you can see, he doesn't have a name. So you know name it like maybe upper lip. And the other guy can be lower lip. 
just realized I didn't name this guy properly, so let's change this. Right. So once you're done with that, then only can we start to orient this guy. So select the controller, select the join, orient him. Right. So just open the mouth, and same thing here. This guy, you can orient it as well. Alright, so we're more or less done with the controller. We have actually have one more controller, which is a, a master controller to kind of control every single guy over here. Um, but first, what we want to do is go to our outliner. We need to start to organize some of these controllers we have and rename them. So let's rename this to be our neck controller. This to be our head controller. So we call this maybe upper jaw controller, lower jaw controller, right? So these two controllers is going to be parented towards the head, right? So for example, when we move the head here, this kind of things move as well, and the head is going to follow the neck. So again, when we move the neck everything else move as well right and this guy he's going to control a lot of things right so first off he's going to control the neck controller because when you move this guy currently you see the head kind of like stays there you need to have the head follow this way as well so you're going to have your neck controller to be inside the hip controller right so when we move you see the head follows and then of course our right shoulder who controls everyone else down here has to follow the hip left shoulder also follows the hip right so that means that we move it this way and then maybe he can just take his joint here and then you go you know he can do things like this he can rotate this down he can you know, open his upper lip right so we have all these controllers making sense and following a proper hierarchy right and you just want to make sure that everything over here has its transformation freeze right now later on we're going to do um, another controller and perhaps we'll just do an extra controller later on for the influence objects that we're going to have over here right so that will be on the next part but for the most part this controller is more or less done alright so moving along we're going to create one more controller here which is going to be like the master controller I'm gonna put this all the way down here let me change this to about 16 and same thing like how I did for this guy I'm going to select every alternate control vertex there is then we're going to scale it down 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 so this will be the master controller right maybe we can scale it just a bit more and you can freeze transform center pivot delete history those sort of things okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna name this guy to be master controller and we're going to start to put things inside the master controller now the first thing we're going to put is the left controller and the right foot controller right so as you can see they are parented now we're going to add in our hip controller inside right so all of the controllers are parented but as you can see when we move them um, there's some issues over there right so first things first what we're going to do is we're going to select our master controller and then we're gonna shift select our root joint is the joint that we created right at the beginning this root joint controls all the other joints and we're gonna first go to constraint and then parent right and then since we're there so as you can see the x uh, translate x and the rotate is already parented we're going to do one more for the scale so we're gonna go constraint and scale right so now once we select the master control as you can see we can move it about right you can also rotate it as such now only issue is that when we want to 
scale it, you can see that it doesn't really scale proportionately and there are things that go missing over here. Right, now the reason for that is because some of these guys are not parented to the master controller yet. So we're going to select the left K, left IK, right IK and the root and we're going to bring them all inside the master controller. Now, when we scale it up or scale it down, everything follows. So for example, if you load this rig into the scene and then you might notice that it's a bit bigger or a bit smaller so we can just scale it and then we can move this guy into place and if it's like gonna run up a hill or something like that you can or he's you know doing a surfboard move or something like that you can rotate him into place right so the next part will be the fun part where we start to do the skin weights